Bethesda just added an impenetrable vault into Skyrim. Locked deep under the ice-capped mountains of Uttering Hill Caves, you can now find the legendary Frost Vault, which holds one of the best spells in the entire game, among some other secrets like the Sword of Chaos and a unique Dwemer armor set. Now, this is actually an official Creations Quest mod that has been inspired by the Elder Scrolls Online's multiplayer MMO dungeon, which has now been recreated in Skyrim. And since Skyrim is based several eras after the events of the Elder Scrolls Online, a lot has changed since then. So today we'll be penetrating the vault itself and discovering what secrets it now holds. And this may be the biggest dungeon in the entirety of Skyrim. But before you can access it, you'll need to grab the legendary Dwarven dungeon creation for 400 credits. Now it comes with two dungeons, the Stone Garden, which I've already covered in another video, which I'll link below, and the Frost Vault, which we're about to venture in today. That works out at $2 per dungeon. Is it worth your money though, we're going to check it out today so you can make up your mind yourself whether you want to get this or not. But as a huge collector of grimdark sci-fi miniatures, I'm pretty excited for today's sponsor, Warhammer 40,000 Tacticus, a turn-based tactical war game on mobile. It's super easy to pick up and play on the go with its fast-paced matches, ranging from multiple full-length faction-specific campaigns to player versus player arenas or cooperative guild boss fight raids. It is truly jam-packed full of content and I can see why it's got a 4.5 rating on the App Store. And with over 60 Tacticus champions to collect across the 15 playable factions, each have their own battlefield strategies and characters with unique abilities to catch your enemies off guard. Now is actually a great time to join with the new Mechanicus faction just being added to the game. These are the Tech Priests of Mars, Guardians of the Imperium's technological secrets. But the best part is you can test them out for yourself for free right now by clicking the the link in the description to unlock the Skatari Marshal who boosts your troops effectiveness in battle. Now to find the Frost Vault for ourselves, we must come southwest from Windhelm just over here on the map to the Uttering Hills Cave which is unfortunately occupied by bandits. You can see that campsite just down there. So before I attempt to take out this moving target we must practice our aim and kill this goat in the distance just over there. Oh! The goat seems a bit startled. Where is it? Wait, what is happening to that goat? Oh! What was that? Todd Howard has cursed me! Let's try again, shall we? What? What is this? What? Where's my kill cam? We're gonna test out the sneak skills of something? Katia the Thief. Come no? with me, Katia. She actually has level 100 sneak. I want to see how she does against these enemies. Katia, I need you, you did it? to do something. This going to take long, boss? Don't be rude. I need you to assassinate that target down there. They're too far away for me to select. Let's try and get them closer. Something oh, ahead, boss. right in the knee. They don't know where we are yet. Oh, Katia's got a great sword and she's just running at the enemy. Katia, what are you doing? You fool. Where is she going? Why is she looking at me and running down the mountain? What is that woman doing? Oh, she's found the bandit high wind. Oh my god, she's taking him on 1v1. You are not good at this. Oh my day, she's destroyed it. Thieving and killing, not paying as well as it used to. Impressive, Katia. I'm not so sure why Katia is labeled as a thief when she pulls out a two-handed greatsword and runs at the enemy every chance she gets. Let's see how she deals with this next archer. Here she goes. Oh my god, she just took that arrow like a champion. She has the greatsword and then she swaps to a one-handed sword because she has level 100 in one-handed and just absolutely deletes her. So here outside the Uttering Hills cave, we discover a bandit camp, which is blocking the entrance to the cave itself. The Frost Vault itself is a sub-location of this cave system. I believe we need to enter and stick to the right-hand side to find the actual entrance. Taking out these bandits along the way, I suppose. Get wrecked, son. Jesus Christ! She's the worst thief I've ever seen in my life. Why are you pretending to be sneaky? You're, you're literally the least sneaky. Oh, wow. 
This bandit can't see her. Okay, he's detected me. Why doesn't she sneak attack the enemy then? Don't worry, Katia. I will help you out. Get ready. I don't think she can actually sneak hey, attack the enemy. Like but if we carry on to the right here through this cave system, past all the bandits, we should be able to discover the entrance to the phosphorus. Here we are. A true labyrinth of an ice cave down here. And right in front of us is a scrap hair's journal. So many words to describe, Mavnax Vault. Expansive, glorious even. I'm not sure what serendipity allowed the Somerset Shadow to stumble upon it. But when Lin Wee wrote to me of it, I knew that it was destiny that called me to this place. My fellow scrap hairs take my lesson to heart, but I suppose it's only my bloodline, my link back to the ancient Dwemer, that lets me see the secrets, the lines of the machines that only a true Deep One could sense. Oh, a Deep One! He's quoting the Deep Lore, a reference to the village of Hackdirt in Cyrodiil. There is power here. So much power. Okay, and there's a few Imperial weapons and a bucket. Let's go onwards. Oh! oh actual dwarven enemies. So these aren't spirits like the last dungeon, and they have leveled weapons. This guy's carrying an ebony mix. I'm actually impressed because right now her stealth has meant that we're not getting detected, but it's really annoying that she's following me so closely. Right, that spider is very dead. Good. Oh, wow, sneak 1000. Holy moly, Katia. Hmm? Must not see you there. Only attack when I do. You're the boss, boss. And you can tell her to stop picking up your items Dump? too. Okay, so this is a high elf dressed in Dwemer armor with a spell tome of Banish Undead and the Staff of Fireballs. But weirdly, we can't actually loot their armor. He's carrying an ebony Not sword, breathing. even though I saw him. Oh, he does have the ebony mace as well. So pretty useful weapons for early on in the game. And we can sneak attack this guy in the distance a mile away. Stunning him right in the back. We've triggered quite a few enemies in this other room, though, so let's just go ham on them. Take them all down. Oh my god, headshot. Get wrecked, son. I don't even know we're here. Here they come. Katia, are you going to attack or just stand in front of me? Oh my god. <laughs> what is she doing? Okay, maybe I should have told her just to attack at will. <laughs> okay, uh, Boss? I need you to attack at will. Sure. There's already a fork in the path here, and this room seems to have a dungeon of some kind that leads down to the Frost Vault itself. Wait, who's this? Hello there. A Harrier. He seems to be a bit stuck on the chair. Are you having some trouble there, sir? Oh, no, he's escaped. Don't worry, Katia. I will save you. The blood of Talos flows through my veins. Apparently it does. You're a true Nord. Though Lydia is the only true Nord for me. So there's another entry down here. Before we go into the Frostbolt, let's go and explore this other pathway. It's a dead end. It's a dead end with the chest. And if I retrace my steps and go right, we see another room down here with an enemy in the distance. He hasn't spotted me yet. Most of these guys seem to be dual-wielding ebony armor. I mean, ebony weapons. Apart from this guy, who actually has orcish weapons. Spoke too soon. So yeah, pretty useful place to come early on for ebony weapons. Now, there is actually one of these locations you can get ebony weapons at level 1 in Skyrim in the original game. Here comes a spell sword. A dirty Falma. Look at him. Disgusting elf. Get out. Ah! Where's Katia when I need her? There she is. Why has she got a great sword out? Katia, what are you doing? The snow was too heavy. She got stuck in it. Attack! It's an arbalist. Let's use the unrelenting force out to yank them out of the way. I stand a chance. 
They're pretty tanky, actually. Luckily, she can use health potions, though. So that's good news for us. Oh, mate. A glass sword. Nice. I assume these are leveled items that these enemies are using. And here there's a few more wooden tables, but nothing of real significance. It looks like they've broken down into this Dwemer ruin. Oh, wow. There's a boss chest here. Nice. Covered in the snow. Okay, so we've just reached the lift to the frost vaults itself. Let's head downwards. And now we're at the bottom of the vaults of ice. Onwards we go, Cassia. There's an enemy here. Yeah, Rex. Oh my god. That was a bit of a shock. Oh my god, they're all sitting on each other's laps. What's going on here? Show yourself. Show yourself? Can you not see them, Katia? Sorry, Katia. Oh my god, wait, it only hit her. Rip. Somehow it wasn't detected either. We'll take those. Get Rex, son. Take out the mage. And you. Katia seems to be frozen. Look at him. He's he's on a mission to try and get to her, but he can't. Get wrecked, son. Don't worry. As long as you distract them, Katia, I can take them all out. It's not a problem. My goodness, this is an ice labyrinth down here. Most of the ruin seems to have caved in, though. Let's explore to the left. The east. You can see a very windy ruin. Wow. This place is huge. Oh my god, it, it's even bigger than I expected. Look at him, he's looking right at me, the dirty elf. Disgusting. An elven bird. Despicable. I won't be using that. All right, let's run up ahead here and see if we can find the frost vault. There's another enemy, actually. Take this guy out just here. Wait, where did my... The drop-off on the arrow is a bit sus. Not gonna lie. There we go. Get wrecked, Sunny Jim. Katia, attack. She's just standing there. She's not interested. Using her steel greatsword. What a fool. Oh my god, look, they're having a tea party down there. I love how it paralyzed her before the arrow even hit. Get wrecked. They have no idea I'm up here. We can just rain down hell from above. This room looks insanely cool. This is the kind of undiscovered civilization I want. With one of these dungeons, you know, something unique. There's a lot of it. <laughs> Love paralyzing these guys. Get wrecked, buddy. Stupid elf. Look at him, he has no idea. How can't you see me? Oh, get paralyzed. Oh, Full damage should kill them. Has he killed them? No, he's still alive. What are you doing? Get out of here. Whoa. Steady on there. Oh. <laughs> he fell over. And you as well, sir. This guy sure does like to put a ton of enemies in his dungeons. Okay, he is a pincushion for that. Ah! My God. You dirty high elf. Get out of here. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, that's what you get for being an elf. Only attack when I do doesn't seem to have any effect on her. She just sort of doesn't attack until... I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know what her intentions are. Maybe it's because I'm sneaking. Otherwise, she would just attack immediately. Look at this. It looks awesome. What's up here, then? Oh, man. This must be the Frost Vault itself. So there's some, some Dwemer items. It looks like they were trying to get into the vault here. Find junctions to unlock the inner vault. Zero out of three. Well, that was too good to be true. There is a journal there, and there's another one just here. The Scrap Captain's Diary. Find the conduits, the boss says. They'll bear our salvation. The boss raves. I followed him. I killed and stole for him. 
got myself kicked out of the Thalma for him. We all did. And you know what? Even now, I believe that Scrap Hair can hear machines. I don't know if he's really got dwarf blood in him, as he claims, but I've never seen anyone who just knows their way around a ruin. So why, in Psymaster's name, are we just sitting around here digging up these ruins for conduits? While the boss sits in his vault obsessing over work, there's a fortune worth of dwarven artifacts just sitting here. Boss needs to get his priorities straight or he'll have a mutiny on his hands. So did he get I killed by the Thalma? Potentially. Let's read his third journal. Oh, it's gone through the table. I found it. If not the source, then the entrance to the source. The deepest vaults of the deepest vaults. But they're sealed. Walled off behind some contraption-laden door bearing the visage of Munvark himself. It's no matter. We opened the previous vault, we can open this one. Damnable door. It defies me. No matter what I do, I cannot open it. All I feel is the mocking gaze of this architect judging me. Finding me unworthy. I am anything but. There's a clever pressure plate. Punomatic plates. This is merely another puzzle. There must be valves, conduits, levers of some kind. Those are the levers we've been collecting this whole time. It's been dangerous exploring deep into Frostfold, but my scrap heels are loyal. I have sent them and the captors within to find these conduits. Any looting can wait. It will be made irrelevant once we see the true source of the Frostfold's power. Very well, Katia. This storyline seems more compelling to me than the last one we experienced in the Stone Gardens. And now if I activate this quest, we have three doors, one over there, and another one down here, another one over there. And these doors are where we're going to find the junctions to unlock the inner frost box. So let's start with the closest door, obviously. Why did we do anything but... Yay. We've already killed all the enemies around here anyway. We can proceed inside. Has she been spotted? I think she has. He's hiding behind a bucket. You challenge a Nord warrior? Is she gonna kill him? Finish him! You are no match. Go, Katia, go! Yes! Destroy him! You... Get wrecked. Finish him, Katia. She's not impressed by the Thalma's magic. Let's give them a welcome. Oh my goodness. Get Rex on. Look at all those red dots on the minimap. There's an absolute party of elves coming. Oh my god, there's a flying spider. Holy moly. Katia's taking a lot of damage here. Don't worry, Katia. I will save you. She's running straight at them. Truly a mad woman. Look at her. She's gone down. She's been defeated. Hello! <laughs> He's breakdancing. <laughs> Get paralyzed. Surprise! It also explains why these guys have the same dialogue as the Thalmer as well. Right in the eye. Look at him. Oh, damn. There's enemies around every corner in this dungeon. I don't know if I like this many enemies or if it's just kind of like... I mean, it definitely means the dungeon takes longer, but I don't know if I enjoy killing so many guys. It just seems like we've got... What was that? What was that? Must have been the wind. <laughs> oh, you fool. What do we have here then? Oh, this is the quest objective, is it? What was that, he says, as he gets hit in the face by an arrow. Perfect. This is a really cool dungeon, and the way they've used stairs they here is really unique. So that was one of the vaults we needed to find. That locked chest can just stay locked forever, I guess. And we can go onwards. But this vault is massive in size, and there's so many turns and corridors. So I'm exploring the sub part of the dungeon where we just found the button trigger for this part of the quest. And the dungeon, and it's actually massive, like almost unnecessarily big. Like we've come here, we've done the quest objective, but there's still tons more 
stuff to explore. Which I don't know if I... I mean, it's definitely like a different design to the standard Skyrim dungeon. Where you kind of run through, you do the objective or the quest, you kill the boss, you get the unique weapon, and then there's a shortcut that goes no round in a circle. Activate Mungvax Proof. Okay, so that's now turned on this light. I don't know what relevance that has, but it's on now. The vaults of these dungeons just look great. <laughs> Gotta hand it to the level designer here, Trainwiz, who created this. Like, never been to a dungeon like this in Skyrim before, that's for sure. So that one area of the dungeon with that one objective had this entire sub-dungeon. And this area is as big as some other complete cave systems or dungeons in Skyrim. So it took a while to kill everyone here and just sort of explore all the different nooks and crannies. Okay, so this leads out just over here and you can see, oh my goodness. We're now in like this big Ow. atrium. Don't mind my foot, boss. <laughs> this guy really knows how to use this tile set of the Dwemer ruins Don't and ice caves to just create something. Like all these big walkout moments. Like look at the size of this, it's crazy. Let's take out the Dwemer Centurion. Get wrecked. Haha, <laughs> there it goes. Look. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's cross the Bridge of Doom. Bridge of Kazakh Dum. Take out these enemies on the way. Oof. There's a lot of chests as well, hiddening all these nooks and crannies. So, oh my god, that's a terrible chest. So it does feel like it's actually worth exploring the other areas of the dungeon beyond just doing the quest, which I always appreciate. This definitely feels like somewhere I've never been before. There's even like a little sniper spot just here so you can jump out, snipe this guy. Oh, unless you're me and terrible at the game. There we go, got him. Oh, he's gonna fall! Ah! <laughs> nice. Okay, let's continue on and round. Okay, so we've reached the bottom of the Sanctum, and you can see that Dwemer Centurion I killed earlier just here. Shoot this guy in the back. Whoa! How did I miss that? Katia, attack! Attack Katia! Oh my god, you are useless. What are you doing? It's a very icy cave down here. There doesn't seem to be anyone beyond these enemies. Let's hop over here. Again, really unique area of the dungeon. Who's this, I wonder? You can see a few more enemies over here, too. Oh, beautiful. Wait, what? He just did some kind of Matrix-ass dodge move. What was that? Get wrecked. Dodge that, buddy. Right in the kneecap. Pinned him to the ground. And if we follow this icy structure on top here, we can actually find another one of these steam vaults. And again, I have no idea what these things do, but they light up a frost section. So yeah, something might happen, I assume. There's also a quest marker right here, but I assume it wants me to go all the way back up there. So let's work our way all the way back to the top, which I'm gonna cut some footage out of so you guys have to watch the entire walk. Man, this dungeon is massive. Oh, hello. Oh my god. The detection the sound they made. Can we get them out the window? No, I failed. Look at him. He's absolutely broken his hip. You ready? Finish him. Oh my god. The execution off the side. Almost. 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 Oh, I just dropped the ingot on his head. See you later, bro. Wee. <laughs> oh, hello there. Can't even see me. Right in the knee. Boom. Okay, we're literally at the top here, right where we need to be. We were down there earlier, and now we're up here, just here. So I assume if we press this button... Ah! Find junctions to unlock the inner vault. Two out of three. Whoa, Jesus, where'd you come from? You scared me, Cathy. And there's a boss chest here. I'm not even on the map anymore. Interesting. So we've got to get over there, apparently, to the next area. Oh, a Dwemer pan? No way! 
Now that to my kitchen. Sneaking is 20% better. I can get those for Lydia. Maybe with all of those sneak boots, we can turn Lydia into like the ultimate thief. Oh! He doesn't know where I am. He's like, what? Well, must have been the wind. Look at him. Get wrecked, you dirty elf. What are these guys doing? Jumping up and down, so excited. All right, let's hop along. Hop along, hop, hop, hop. I mean, look into the distance over there. Doesn't that look incredible? Even into the sky as well. Like, I don't know what this is with all the flags and why there's any wind here, but it looks amazing. Hello there. Oh, wait. Jesus. How? Where did you come from? And why were you over there? Oh my God, what is that? Have we found heaven? And grab, we can grab a, a Dwemer bowl and circle it before we proceed into heaven's gate. Here we go. To the scorch works. Pretty Oops. cool entrance. My fault, boss. Oh, this area has a very different vibe. Now it's like very hot and sort of frosty. Someone there. Someone there! It's me! Oh my god, he's falling down the stairs. What an absolute disaster he's had! Oh my god, arrow to the knee. He's gonna be uh, in white rub next time we see him, boys. Do you think they still have their Let's take him out. Boom. Oh my god, just a sound of chance. Look at this. Oh! That was scary. Herica, are you gonna do anything? Not Herica, sorry. Katia? Just forgotten your name now. Yeah, let's use frost Looks resistance like while we're moving. in this really hot vault. Okay, this looks like some kind of boss room. There is no boss. We have to go this way to find the junction box. Let's proceed. Oh, hello. Look at all this lava. Hello there, sir. Oh my god, he's gonna. Oh, I thought he was gonna fall off the edge. Ah! Ah! Okay, I didn't expect that. Oh my god. So the lava you go. Where did he go? Where did he go? He just disappeared. Get wrecked. Look out, Herica. Let's let Herica take this guy on. He's getting stabbed. Absolutely shank him. Are you going to attack that, Herica? Oh, yeah, that's what you needed. Nice. Nice one. All right, let's activate this. And now the red one has been activated. So we have fire, ice, and what was the other element? I don't know. So this guy? Get wrecked. <laughs> oh, come on, fall off, fall off. I really want to take them out into the lava when they come around the corner. Oh! Go on, go on. Okay. Oh! He definitely fell into the lava. That's for sure. Don't you dare heal yourself. Go, Herica, attack. Don't let her heal. He missed. Nice. But she actually reacts to the fire damage. Warriors of Skyrim. Any secrets in the lava down there? It doesn't look like it, but this is a cool area, nevertheless. So we've actually done this area, but there's another area to the north. And we need to go to get into the frost vault. Okay, we made it. Don't worry, boys. By the way, if you guys are enjoying the video so far, please do drop a like on it. I really appreciate the support. It really does help out. Another collapsed ruin. So we want to go the opposite direction now. I can see a man. I see a man in the mist. Boom. Here he comes. He has no idea where that's come from. And now he's dead. This place is like a maze. What's in here? Another crazy looking dungeon area. Lol. I just love how my paralysis chance is just ridiculous. Ah! Ow. There's so much shock pain. Look at her. She's paralyzed completely. Okay, well now she's dead. Ah! Don't mind. Don't mind uh, the bit of lava on your fur. You can just rub that off. Pretend like it was nothing. Seeing if there's... Might be something in here, maybe. 
Uh, ooh, another one of these steam things. So that's the last one. That's the one for fire. We found the one for ice, and then we found the one in that other cave system. So we found all three of those steam vents. I have no idea what they do yet. If anyone lets me know in the comments, that would be really useful. On the map, by the way, it is just over here in this little lava section room. We'll find out. Ooh, this looks beautiful. This, this like, thing here looks really cool. Now, get Rex some. Oh my god, how did he dodge that? He must have heard it coming and just used some kind of aimbot hack. Oh my days, get Rex. Oh, and finish her, Harriga. I mean, Cassia. Nope, they're all dead. Oh, is that a journal? No, it's not. Ah, this is really cool. Look at that. Dude, that looks insanely cool. Honestly, the level design using Bethesda's standard assets from Wem of Ruins allows Train Wiz to create some really unique looking stuff. That chest actually, oh wow, it's got Wem of Scrap Metal. All right, get me out of here. No. Oh, it's a trap! It's a trap! Erica, help me! Oh my god. Excuse the slow time shout. Got to be careful of, his, careful of his steam attack. I think I just caught Herica with the arrow there. But the steam attack actually does additional damage in the slow time now. Just bouncing on. There we go. Now I'll take this guy out. We'll shoot him right in the buttock. And now the left cheek. Beautiful. And now the knee. Send him into white run. There we go. Amazing. Okay, so where does this go? Does this lead back into the area we went to before? Oh, so this actually leads back into the other area. Good to know. So here we are back in the main atrium. We've got to go up this spiral staircase on the right-hand side, all the way to the top. And here we are at the entrance to the frost vault. And now you can see the three sigils are lit. So I guess we can open this now. Whoa, it just threw a dwarm cog at me. I guess it's kind of working. Dude, that is so cool. Oh, yes. Let's go in here and see what we discover. Wow. Oh, man. You can actually see the sky. We could have just dropped him from the roof. Defeat the Sildred. This guy. Let's take out this scrap child first. I could probably just sneak attack him with a slow time shout, but oh, he's almost dead. Let's reload. All right, here we go. Let's battle him in the middle here. Hello there. It is. Come and get me, buddy. Oh, dear. An embarrassing battle indeed. I thought you had Gwemma blood within you. The blood of the dwarfs. But you are a mere peasant, my friend. Go on. Attack, Katia. Attack. No, you have to attack. Nice block. Let me paralyze him for you. Now you can finish him. Okay, maybe not. Let's try again. I'm gonna wait until he gets up and then Katia can have a go at him. We'll see who's better. The Dwemer Ultma. Oh my god! Damn, son! That was. Brutal. Oh, he had a Dwemer sword. Ah, another journal. Wait, there's two journals that say Freon. That's interesting. He has a unique weapon. Marvnax Theorem. 50% chance. Oh, damn, it's a Chaos Enchantment. 50% chance for each element of Fire, Frost, and Shock to do 30 points of damage. That is an insanely awesome weapon. I really wish that it had some kind of unique Dwemer appearance. Does 36 damage, though, which is... He also has a full set of Dwemer armor. Sadly, it's not enchanted. A cool, unique enchantment, but again, I wish that it had a unique 3D model to make it special. Let's read his journal. I found it. If not the source, then the entrance to the source. The deepest vaults of the deepest vaults. But they're still. All I feel is the mocking gaze. Oh, wait, I already read this. That must be a mistake, because the second part of his journal is in here of how he can open the door. So we have the door up there, and if I check my quest log, 
It says, find the valves to open the deepest vault. Zero out of three. But I've already done that. Let's just check around here before we go onwards. Otherwise, I have to retrace my steps through the entire location just to hit those valves. Oh, scrap here framework. So it does have a unique armor set. That's good to see. 15% resist of shock, fire, and frost damage. And again, I wish this had a unique appearance for a paid mod. I think that would be awesome if they could add that. And there is a chest. Now, I assume there's a full set of scrap here armor hidden in this dungeon, but I've just not found the entire thing. So now from the central boss fight arena, let's head up to the top here. Because we have already pulled all of these valves and these lights appear to be on so perhaps now Ooh! oh my god dude that is so cool that is the coolest entrance to the vault ever now, weirdly, the quest log still says that we need to find those valves to open the deepest vaults, and it's zero out of three. But because I did that quest as we were playing through the dungeon, we've actually already done that. Now, if I hadn't done that, it would be extremely annoying because I'd have to go back through the entire dungeon to do all of those valves that I just did, which would take me ages to walk through. And I don't think that's a very fun level design, backtracking for a dungeon like that. So I will say that as some negative criticism. So the Drake engine? Hello? This area looks insane. Okay, so it's completed zero out of three. Find another way to the Drake engine by activating the valves. Okay, so there's two directions we can go. Left, right, straight on. Dude, what is this place? It looks wild. Uh, I feel like I'm about to be like, I don't know, incinerated by these things on the side. Maybe by the left and right entrance. So let's go back into this room. Go through here. Nothing but spider workers left out here. Boom. And then it continues onwards even further. There's just enough areas of darkness to be creepy in here too. Okay, so where does this lead me? Up a spiral staircase. <laughs> ah, it's another valve which we can turn. Great. So I just backtracked down this corridor and now there's another corridor with a way down here. I think there is another valve at the bottom of this one. Another long corridor with some Werner spider. The rooms and dungeon design is really unique. What's at the end? Is it another valve? It is. Okay, so we've done both of those valves. It's like a big laser beam. Now, once again, we retrace our steps. Now we're in the main atrium. We can go through here. And it looks like we might be able to get up here now, potentially. Ah, there's a button and a staircase as it been. Oh, I just love where the architecture is. Reminds me of the Elder Scrolls Oblivion, like some of these entrances. So much effort has been put into like making those cool moments in this dungeon, which I think is awesome. So once again, we're entering a huge room covered in... Oh my god! The tortured dragon put it out of its misery? Munvar. Whoa! It's a spectral dragon! Oh my god, it's an ice dragon! And there's loads of ring rate um, ensnared worms around. Dude, this boss fight's insane! What is going on? Alright, let's take out these ads. The trash mods. Oh, mate, this is really neat. This dungeon boss fight, this is what I want. I mean, most of the enemies are stuck in the corner, but it looks cool. Katia is putting up a good fight against... It's just a spirit of his cruelty because he was tortured down here. Wow. Look, you can see his body. He was like trapped in this mechanism. Oh, I love that. The storytelling and the design of the dungeon. Very cool. Yeah, Rex, I'm thinking if we take him out, the ads might just die. He's all almost down. 
the ship. Wow, okay. Oh, okay, everything disappeared. What the heck? Is it over? Oh, I got some spells added for doing that. You can see his head is in the fire here. And he was ensnared, trapped in this machine, just constantly tortured to power some of the Dwemer's machines or something. I don't know. Let's carry on onwards and upwards. We'll leave Katia in the dungeon. See ya. <laughs> it's out here then. Oh, does this loop all the way back to the top? I believe it does. Oh, this was the locked door I discovered earlier where we first entered the frost vault. So we've unlocked three spells. Let's check them out. Starting out with Munnax War. Summon a warding worm. 60 seconds. While active, resist 50% of frost damage. And alteration spells cost 50% less to cast. That's actually incredibly powerful. For 60 seconds, it's like a really long bar. And 169 magicka cost is pretty reasonable. I'll, I'll toggle god mode just for this. And we can go ahead and cast it. And this is what it looks like. It's this really cool dragon aspect worm. That actually looks like the head of a dragon from Skyrim. Really awesome design. This is like the kind of unique things I wanted. Not just the 3D weapon models, but like this as a reward is really cool. So I'm a big fan of this. And then let's check out the other. Munvenax Insight. Summon an insightful worm for 60 seconds. While active, you resist 50% of shock damage and restoration spells cost 50% less to cast. That is nuts. Basically, whenever you need to heal up, you cast this. Use a potion of magicka and your restoration spells are half as much. And you resist shock damage as a bonus. And does this have a different appearance? I think they're all the same appearance. Yeah, they are. So, I mean, it looks cool, but they are all the same appearance. And then we have Munvnax Fury. Summon a furious worm for 60 seconds while active resists 50% fire damage. And destruction spells cost 50% less to cast. That's very powerful. And obviously these are conjuration spells. So if you go to the conjuration skill tree and then you go and grab the twin soul perk, you can actually have two of these up at once. Meaning you can have a 50% reduction to your restoration spells and, and destruction spells. As well as a 50% resistance to fire and shock. So yeah, pretty overpowered, but also worth it for the entire dungeon, which was about an hour and a half long. Do these actually attack enemies? Okay, so they kind of just exist right now. Do they attack or is it stuck? Okay, it's attacking. I guess the damage it does depends on my conjuration skill, but it is attacking targets. There we go, it's attacking again. It actually sets the targets on fire as well, very slightly for a bit of damage. Ideally, you want it out of harm's way, though, so you can actually take advantage of the reduction to destruction spells. So overall, the Frost Vaults was an incredible dungeon experience. I thought it was actually much better than the Stone Garden dungeon, which I covered, and I will link that episode down below in the description. Because the spells that it gives you are actually unique and original, Obviously, again, I wish the weapon and armor set had a unique appearance. I think if you're paying for something, then at the very least, you should have something... You should have weapons and armor with new 3D models. The dungeon itself is incredible. The tile set and appearance just looks very unique and is like nothing I've ever experienced in Skyrim. It's just so big. Maybe too big with too many enemies to kill. It almost became a bit monotonous. The thing about these paid dungeon DLCs, though, is the fact that you pay $2, you do the dungeon, and it's done. That's it. It's over. The only thing you keep afterwards is the weapons, the armor set, and also these unique spells. So I'd actually say the reward is more important than the dungeon itself. Because that's what you're going to be carrying around for 20, 30, 60 hours after you've done the dungeon. You can check out the Stone Garden in this video over here. And also don't forget to download Warhammer 40,000 Tacticus from the link in the description below to start building your Mechanicus team. And they're updating this game each month with the latest releases. So make sure you stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.